Test. Testing. 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 Okay, hello and welcome guys. If you're just tuning in just now, I have just fixed my audio. So we are good to go. So tonight we got some special scrims for you. Uh, we're watching the Battle Arena PUBG scrim. So uh, we are just waiting for the final team members to get in and we will get started. Apologize for the technical difficulty so far, but um, we shall get started very soon. Um, the team list is based on what feedback I've received from the some of the participating teams here so if there's any error or mistake uh, just please do let me know I will try and fix it myself but I think uh, given the nature of some of the teams just coming in and, and everything it's been a bit difficult to, to cap, uh, catch up with everything here but I will update the team list um, as we go through the, the games today so we got four matches all will be played on first person perspective uh, we will be having a rotation between the two maps so we'll start with Erangel, miramar and then Erangel and miramar once again so that's going to be the schedule for tonight guys uh so apologize if we're not starting on schedule i think it's also because we're just trying to get everyone in here so um please do stay tuned uh let me just uh go and make sure i can update the team list as best as possible before we start the games All right, guys, we are loading in right now, so uh, stay tuned. We will get stuck into the action very soon. Just doing a last check on the some of the team team details. If I
Alright guys, and we are loaded in here, so Testing. we shall get going Testing. very soon. Testing. Testing. Alright guys, so um, we are just about to get started here, so just to introduce some of the teams, uh, Team 6, 15, and 17, I'm not sure who uh, who you are, so please do PM me in Discord if you can, then I'll update the team list, but otherwise just quickly, Team 1, we have Frostfire, Team Extents as Team number 2, Team 3 is Infinity, Geek Fam is Team number 4, BN Power is Team 5, uh, Team 7 is FFG, GWP, uh, Team 8 is MBT, Team 9 is MSK Poseidon. Um, team 10 is Team Crayon. Koyak Gaming is Team 11. And uh, Team 12 is Killer Clown. Team 13 is Gang FTY. Team 14 is Power Ranger. Uh, team 16 is Six Gaming. Team 18 is Team Retired. Team 19 is uh, Quacker. And Team 20 is Lipak Mama. So, we are in for the very first map of the day, guys. So, uh, let's get into it. We see a lot of people already starting to drop out right at the start here of this game. And um, we do see actually that uh, not, some of them are Team Crayon, if not mistaken. The Genta colored one that are going to South George. And uh, they'll be joined by FFG as well. And we do see that uh, some of the other teams are also deciding to, to drop south. And uh, actually, surprisingly, there's not a lot of teams in the Gatka region here. Then a uh, team extends is flying over the ruins here to the northern side of the map. Um, Power Ranger is over here going towards Rozok. And uh, MSK Poseidon opting to go for um, Chinky. And uh, is looking pretty clear for them. They have the whole place to themselves. And uh, we do have MBT over here. Um, the maroon colored team. Team number three, Infinity over here. And uh, oh, it looks as though we have uh, our first casualties here as teams are scrambling uh, to get those early vehicles to help with their rotations and Koya Gaming uh, losing the first player here to Quack. So not looking good there. And it looks as though that Killer Clown also has lost one of their players to Six Gaming this time as he gets run over by um, in rather horrible, horribly violent fashion here. Now, other teams are spread out here. We do see that Team 5 uh, BN Power, if not mistaken, is going to the north side of Lipovka. Geek Fam going for their traditional uh, prison Lipovka area here. Uh, but it does look as though that Team 17 did manage to get to Mansion before them. And uh, in Yasnaya, we also have Team 15. Uh, Gang FTY deciding to go around the Milta region here um, as they are just trying to stay in the central parts of the map uh, hopefully make sure that everything is nice and smooth for them uh, later on here. Uh, they're not too close to MBT so they do have a little bit of breathing room but there are a number of teams all here closely congested on the western side of the map as we do see here that uh, Lepak Mama is currently sharing this with the uh, Six Gaming actually. So Six, Six Gaming does have him outnumbered is whether or not they spot Mr. Eddie here now, other teams are spread out here. We do see that Frostfire has decided to go to the military island here. So they're just hanging around the Novo region. And uh, Extens is going all the way to Severny, it would seem. Now, so Team Crayon, which is currently sharing South George together with Infinity, are not quite in close proximity yet. It looks as though that Infinity opting to go for the, the apartment loot spots here. Well, the mansions in the southern south of the position are actually going to Team Crayon. So Team Crayon a little bit spread out, but I think there's not too much uh, concern that it would be difficult to get there. But it looks as though Eddie is able to uh, get the drop on uh, 
the rest of Six Gaming here as he knocks out one of their players, but the rest of the players are converging on his position. So looking very precarious for him as he has almost no life left to his name. And he's going to have to try his best to stay alive here. Now, um... He is still <laughs> facing a lot of utility that's actually been using by Lipat Mamak, trying to get him off this roof here. Trying to prevent anyone from coming up the, the stairs here. I think they don't want to take any more down. They probably will have the, the kill in the bag here, but if they can avoid it, the reduced attrition will did them well in the future, but Sniper is coming to uh, Mr. Eddie's uh, aid over here. As they are all converging here as they want to make their mark here in this very first game of tonight. Uh, and it looks as though Sniper not able to get another down here and he goes down to Cold Blood. Shazwan is the last player left up for uh, Lipat Mama. He is coming around here. He will spot uh, Red Bean Res and he knocks down I Am Cold Blood. So it looks as though he will opt to go straight for the kills here, but uh, he doesn't spot the other team members on top of the, the roof over there. But he manages to knock down 6A6, so unfortunately he's not able to do the final down here, and that is going to be it for uh, Lipat Mamak here as they go out in 19th position. Now, meanwhile we do see that everyone is very much undergoing their looting phase here, but it looks as though that Power Ranger opting to also go for Severni here, which is currently occupied by a team Extents Exor taking some fire here early on in this uh, engagement here as uh, he is a little bit surrounded here. Only Kai SG is nearby for him. Draco is on the east, no, the western side of uh, Severni here, so not quite in the position to help just yet, but I think they're just trying to gather as much information as possible. This type of urban combat, you do want to try and make sure that you have all the information possible before you actually make any moves, and it looks as though Rix is, is able to knock down Kai SG, so he's all by himself there, and he will be going in to confirm the kill. Now, it's whether Draco or Axelor can come over here, but I don't think that they'll be able to stop this from actually taking place here. Now, uh, it does seem as though that Axelor also getting knocked down here, so looking not so great for uh, Extents early on in this game. Ace is trying to, to come over and help, but Draco is currently the only person nearby, but Kai SG surely is, uh, is going to be in a bit of trouble here, yes, and the co kill is confirmed by Power Ranger. So Power Rangers getting two frags already against uh, Team Extents here. Now, we do see Ace uh, coming up with the, the vehicle that they're going to try and hopefully get out of here. MSK Poseidon having a very good uh, position here, right in the center of the circle here. So not going to be uh, too bad of a game for them, hopefully. So we'll have to see how that pans out. We do see that uh, in South George, uh, Team Infinity has congregated around the, this uh, warehouse. And they actually see uh, Insane Floyd. So he's currently pinned down a, a little bit here as he's in, currently in the in the three-story building here, but he's going to be careful. But it looks as though Legendary G7 for Power Ranger able to knock down uh, Draco here, and uh, it looks as though that this could be a very quick game for Team Extens here. Ace is trying to come to the rescue here, but he has been spotted by a long way out by Team Power Rangers here. Um, but Draco is killed here. He's going to have to bug out and try and get as high placement as he can. Now for those watching, I mean these are just scrim games here. There is currently no point system ongoing. So it's uh, just going to be practice between some of these uh, good teams that we have here on display. So hope you do enjoy the what we're seeing here. But this is also going to be the forum where teams are practicing uh, for a lot of upcoming tournaments actually. Especially in this region, there will be the HP Omen seri Challenger Series, which starts actually uh, this weekend. Also starting this weekend, we will have the PUBG uh, Malaysian Singapore Championship 2018. The qualifying round start starts this coming weekend uh, for all Malaysian teams. Uh, carry on for four weeks. And uh, teams can decide to, uh, to enter into e any of the qualifiers. Uh, just have a look at the Geek Events PUBG page and you'll be able to see them uh, no problem. And make sure that you read the, the, all the requirements uh, so that registration process can go smoothly here. As you never know for each weekend whether or not the slots will finish up. So try and make sure that you have all your information available 
at the time here. So uh, we do have the rotation coming here from uh, Six Gaming here from the west side of the map, and they go actually past uh, Koyak Gaming squad number eleven here on your screen. Now uh, it looks as though that squad number eight MBT is uh, trading some long range blows with uh, MSK uh, Poseidon, who are currently occupying uh, Pochinki at the moment here. So um, Pochinki is still very much in the center of the circle. I don't think MSK Poseidon are going to want to move anytime soon here as they do have that advantageous uh location for now but we'll have to see whether or not other teams are are going to try and occupy that space geek fam are deciding to rotate in early quickly now everyone is trying to set up their locations here in the center of the circle as uh, they try and get ahead of the the second phase which will happen pretty soon and uh, they do want to try and claim a compound minimize uh having to rotate until the circle dictates that they actually have to otherwise they run the risk of facing all these teams which have already set shop up here and going to have good fields of fire now teams are starting to uh, complete their rotations here i think uh, frostfire in uh, military ireland are going to start heading over pretty soon we already see that um Squad number 14 here, this is Power Ranger, they are moving in and the rotation uh, here for squad number 6 is, um, or rather for squad 17, is uh, has gone horribly wrong and they get eliminated here, trading blows with squad number 6, so unfortunately I don't know who these guys are unfortunately, um, uh, just let me know in the comments if uh, you know who team 6 and 17 and 15 for that matter are, so the squad 15 also making their rotation going to the northern uh, northeastern side of uh, of from Pachinki, and uh, we do see other teams. Squad number seven, um, which is FFG, is uh, currently still in North George here, as they do see that the squad number three, Team Infinity, after having looted up in South George, are going for North George now. So they are going for cross waters dominance right here. Um, but they are still in the circle, so they do have the time, but they do not have a vehicle, so they could make rotation uh, a little bit difficult for them. But actually, from Stalber, we do have uh, BN Power having uh, made their rotation actually through here, which um, is currently occupied by Power Ranger. Charlie just trying to look out carefully here as he notices uh, Bumpy J in the opposite compound. So he's waiting for some backup, but actually it looks as though Bumpy J will be getting... Uh, back up from the rest of BN power in this situation. Now, Geekfam has taken up shop on the eastern side of Pochinki here, and uh, we do have uh, Team Crayon actually uh, on the western side here. So uh, they're also putting some shots on MSK Poseidon. M um, Crescenia for P MSK Poseidon is currently occupying the, the tower over here. So he is going to try and do his best to uh, just keep an eye on where this team are is um, they don't want to actually let them get too close to Pachinki uh, too early on. The second circle has actually revealed itself and it's still very much the center of the map here. Now it looks as though that uh, BN Power and Power Ranger have engaged in a full-fledged full battle here as both of them have called their boys to the scene. Now they are trying to go at it as best they can but uh, at this point in time they are on the edge of the circle. They are using a lot of their uh, utility and breaking down each other team each other's teams uh, which will not benefit either one in the grander scheme of things but they are kind of locked in a position here that it, whoever moves first is going to be in trouble Rix is getting knocked down first in this battle here but the rest should be no problem here is how these teams want to think about their rotations into the circle here as uh, we are oh um, the, it looks as though things have gone horribly wrong for Power Ranger as they have taken uh, another two knocks here, so Rixis this time is going to have to be the one to actually get the res off here, but BN Power is pushing up here. Now, uh, I think G7 is a little bit far away here. He is trying to put up some long range fire, but he's not sure whether he can stop the uh, Ger, Ger Block from actually coming around here. He actually knocks down both of the players here, and uh, unfortunately he loses his life, but that is almost it for Power Ranger. They only have uh, G7 who's left alive. Here, Charlie is surely gonna go down, and uh, he's deciding to bug out of that fight here. Now, uh, we see that uh, squad number uh, three, Team Infinity, has actually separated, uh, or rather managed to make it to North George, but um, it looks as though company is starting to disappear. Now, Ace, the last player left alive for Extens here, is uh, very much along the rotation route from uh, North George, and he's just trying to take some pot shots, um, but 
not able to get any of the FFG players in squad number seven down here. Now, most of the teams are moving a little bit more central as well. We see MSK Poseidon has uh, vacated the Pochinki at the moment, opting to go for this northern compound as um, they look to try and get a better position here in the circle. Now, we see that uh, Asmix and the rest of MBT are actually advancing on this position as well. So they are familiar as to where exactly they are here, but it's whether or not they, they can get any of those uh, good shots. But I don't think that they will be able to take the compound at this juncture without taking too many casualties. Crossfire finally uh, getting over the bridge here. Now they are on their way into the circle. Now as uh, the circle gets a lot closer, it's gonna be harder and harder to find that prime real estate here. But of course, these teams are betting on uh, getting these uh, locations here, which are very central and try and minimize as many rotations as they, they need to and uh, try and control uh, the map territory here. Now, we actually do have a loot crate here. The question is whether one of these teams has actually gone all over here to get it here. It's an AWM and a ghillie suit here uh, for whoever can claim it first. So. I think uh, the squad 15 here is a little bit preoccupied. They do want to try and get this looting out here, but it looks as though Texas has actually spotted it. So he might be in for uh, a nice treat here. Um, just have to make sure that he can use it. I think like over the Scrim City games uh, from last weekend, we did see a number of AWMs uh, getting dropped into the field. But unfortunately, uh, I think some of the carriers actually uh, passed away a little bit too early here. And uh, now other teams are finishing up with their rotations. One of the last teams to come in is squad number 11 here, uh, Koyak Gaming. Now we do see BN Power is still very much on the north side as they try and uh, just go in slowly. Uh, you can either try and play more on the edge of the circle here or you could play more centrally. And uh, staying put here on the eastern side of uh, Pochinki is Gang FTY. So Gang FTY currently here um, just trying to Retain map control. They do have a number of vehicles at their disposal here, but it looks as though that Frostfire is running straight into uh, six gaming here, and Sophia actually gets eliminated here. So that's the first casualty for Frostfire here. So unfortunate for them, their rotation route was a little bit occupied, and admittedly, um, seemingly in the middle of nowhere here. So unfortunate for Frostfire at this juncture. But the next circle has revealed itself, and it looks as though that BM Power will be happy. Uh, with this uh, turn of developments here, MBT trying to take shots now at Frostfire as Elliot and Yongwei are trying to bug out of here as fast as they can. Uh, K-Bytes is going to have to put up a lot of fire here. A lot of teams are rotating here. We do see that MSK Poseidon has moved up, uh, as have uh, squad number uh, 8 and the rest of them joining K-Bytes inside the circle here but this looks a bit precarious here as uh it looks as a young way also going down for Frostfire here and uh looks as though ffg chris will be able to get that loot crate here we'll have to see later on what kind of goodies that he's got in store for these other teams now young way gets a uh confirmed killed by k bites here as we do see uh team whacker actually rotating through this zone here mbt also trying to put some fire on them but I think uh, not enough vision at the moment to, to provide any sort of uh, meaningful connections there. Now, squad number 10 has moved into the water town, Team Crayon. So they are currently in a good position here. It's just whether or not they can hold on to the territory as it is quite big over there. And we do see here um, Team Infinity here getting the drop on Ace and eliminating Team Extents here. So that's a bit unfortunate for him. Now, they do have uh, a loot crate as well to their name here, so they should be pretty happy. They are on the edge of the circle, so not in so much of a issue for them. Now, MSK Poseidon here taking up a shop here in the southern part of uh, Rozok here. As they spotted Gang FTY move uh, towards the northern part, uh, Manparang acting as the, the lead scout in that situation with the other three all moving up in the rear to try and... Uh, solidify some sort of position on the northern side which is uh, quite central here but this river is going to make rotations a little bit interesting here as uh, that is going to be uh, there are minimal ways to cross over there and of course you can't really swim uh, underwater with impunity anymore I don't think you can even get some bullet penetration uh, under the water here so Dunkirk for gang FTY bugging out a little bit Elliot also uh, uh, in a little bit of trouble here he and Demon Eater are the last players alive for Frostfire they are trying to uh, reconnect here as Demon Eater 
is uh, all the way far away and it looks as though King Fam opting to come to the northern side here. Unfortunately, Xavier and KNY God gets knocked down here and currently Mori is facing up against the full might of Team Infinity here. He is trying to go for the res here, but it does look as though that uh, nades are coming in and it looks as though that Geek Fam will be in a spot of bother. Oh, the grenade is no good and it uh, looks as though KNY God is up here, but the the pressure is coming from Infinity. Infinity starting to nade the smoke here and uh, Savior is on the way up here, but the smoke is dissipating here and looks as though that nade is good here. Modi is back to square one here. He has to get KNY God back up, but it's whether or not that the smoke is going to last long enough. They are currently surrounded here and surely this is going to be it for the rest of the Geek Fam guys. But they are going to make that train here and a uh, little bit of a homage to um, Ibiza who is very well known for actually doing this during the Star Ladder qualifiers. Now, uh, meanwhile, all the teams are taking shape around Rosok. It has actually shifted down here. Uh, given that it is the fourth circle, it will prioritize landmass over over the water here. And Mahdi going down this time. So KNY got left all alone here. Uh, now, of course, the smoke is a lot bigger in, in the real game here. But it looks as though that is it. Aaron showing the might of the Graza over in that instance here but now more rotations coming in it looks as though quacker trying to rotate through this open field area here but they run into six gaming so six gaming knocking down two of the players only Rosern left he is in trouble here as Hansu gets the the drop on him and that's going to be it for team quacker here at this early well not really early stage we had started with 20 teams actually and we're at the 20 minute mark so this is all time for Things to get a little bit crazy here. Now, Blue Circle is moving in. Squad number three, Infinity, has to finish up their looting of the Geek Fam guys and actually move inside the circle. They actually have to cross one of the bridges here, which could make things a little bit more difficult here. Now, it looks as though that um, Mamparang going down to Crisania and uh, DJ Lol as they pushed into Rozok here. Unfortunately, the rest of Gang FTY not around here, but unfortunately, that's... That's the, the price that you pay sometimes when it when you try to have a lead scout there. It's better than a whole team going down in a particular instance here. Now, other teams are rotating in here. Squad number 8, MBT, is moving in as well. Team Crayon is also uh, moving in as they vacate the water town here, which is not really inside the circle here. But uh, they are trying to offer a lot of vision here. But it looks as though there is a lot of chaos going on here as a lot of teams are starting to, to move as centrally as possible. And we do see that... Squad 18, Team Retired here, is actually uh, uh, invading the school here and uh, they have to try and be aware of each other. They are in close proximity. It looks as though that this is a fight that you would normally see at the start of the game, but here we are at the 21 minute mark as uh, the rest of the players are trying to uh, push them away here, but it looks as though um, Team Retired actually manages to win in that round as they do, do manage to get as many kills as possible here. Now, uh, we do see here that Gang FTY is occupying this current zone here. They are making use of the natural terrain here and getting their extra vehicles uh, to boot here. There are not a lot of compounds. There is still result, but teams might want to avoid occupying too much of that as there could be a lot of urban fighting here, making things increasingly difficult to uh, stay alive, especially if the, the final circles are outside of result. Uh, it's going to be about who blinks first, who who actually makes that dash and gets shot in the back here. So it is a tough decision if you decide to actually go into the central part of the town here. But it looks as though that uh, Squad 3, uh, Team Infinity, is facing some long-range shots from FFG here. So they are they managed to get that kill on Willy here. And uh, Brennan is actually trying to, to move as far fast as he can along the coast here. But he is at the, the mercy of... FFG as they try and get that fire across there. Now we do see that the circle is moving in. A lot of the teams are not moving here, opting to actually wait and see where where things go a little bit. And Squad 15 here getting the drop on uh, Infinity after Aaron made all his way over there. He didn't manage to knock down Gaze, but uh, that is the end for him. So as well or not, they, that Graza is actually picked up by Brennan, and um, there might be some revenge kills in the process here. Now, we are left with only 11 teams here. It is very central here, still covering a big chunk of uh, Rosok. MSK Poseidon going with a 2-2 split here as they look to try and uh, retain as much map control here as possible. Now, the more uh, map control that you own, you actually manage to push these players 
uh, away f uh, away from that area and actually into each other. So it is a strong strategy, but you do need to make sure that you can try and cover your other team members if possible. But of course, given that it's 2-2 two -two split, it's ideal in the sense that you can still get your teammates up even if one goes down. But to stop a full, full team push, it might be a little bit difficult as DJ Lowell finishes off Brendan. And that is it for Infinity as they go out in 11th place here. Now... They have to be mindful, MSK Poseidon, that they do have the full squad of Team 15 actually moving in uh, from the top of the screen here. Now, FFG actually making their move here uh, right through the middle here. Now, they might actually be very close to Gang FTY here. So, Gang FTY still very much staying around their vehicles here, uh, willing to... Uh We'll go on some of the, the damage dealing here and uh, we do see here the some of the perils of actually moving around this area as FFG takes some fire here from the team members of MBT. MBT uh, able to get that long range fire. There's not a lot of cover in this area here. There's only the natural cover if the team is fortunate enough to occupy one of those dips that we do see. Now, uh, squad number seven is uh, deploying whatever utility that they have here just to stay alive. I don't think that they want to peek right over the hill here. Um, as, uh, of course, Gang FTY is lying in wait here, but Team Crayon is uh, also in the vicinity here, and they should be able to put up some good fire onto these other teams here on the eastern side of their position. And uh, they are trying to be mindful. Frostfire opting to just stay uh, a little bit hidden here as they try and move through here. And Voila is actually able to, to get... Nice couple of kills there, so good pickup from him here as he sees the rotation coming in from Squad 15. Squad 15 also facing further fire here as uh, Yace and uh, Kaxis try and maneuver around, but Crisania also in good position here. He gets Yace down and uh, Kaxis is all by himself, and it looks as though that he gets third party by BN Power. So BN Power occupying the eastern side of Razok here. So they are currently aware of the presence of MSK Poseidon, but it's going to be difficult for them to move as they are nowhere close by. Now, the squad 18 team retired is going to have to move out of the, the school pretty soon here. Of course, they do have uh, some resurgence players with them, so that's a big boon to them uh, in terms of the strength. Being like one of the more notable teams from Singapore. And uh, Team Crayon here is just trying to hold this zone here. They are trying to use this um, hill to the best of their ability. Uh, squad 6 here, still, um, still looking strong with 4 men alive and 9 kills already so far here. And they're looking to add to that total here. Andy BG trying to put up some long range shots here with his mini 14. Now the circle has moved here and uh, it looks as though that the winners will be squad number 8 MBT and uh, to a certain extent uh, FFG here. Gang FTY are still in the circle but they're on the edge here and uh, MSK Poseidon going to have to be the ones that really move. Uh, as fast as they can here, but they are currently engaged with BN Power, uh, squad number five in the middle of the in the middle of Rosok here. But they look as though that they want to finish this fight pretty soon here, as they do want to start moving in here. They don't want this team to start shooting them in the back here, as they make that uh, dangerous rotation into the circle here, which they do have to go on the other side of the Rosok Hill here. So Crescenia trying to force the issue here, getting a nade inside here, and uh, oh, almost taking down one of the BN Power players here, as uh, they start to swarm this building here. But the blue zone is going to start moving in 13 seconds, so they might not have enough time to actually get through here. As uh, we do see our team Crayon actually fighting together with uh, squad number 7 FFG. FFG in a little bit of problem here. Only Chris left up alive here, but they are trading blows with uh, team Crayon. Only Meltings is left up for team Crayon. Uh, team Crayon, as uh, he looks to try and get his his team members uh, up safely here. He's deploying all the smokes that he can. And MSK Poseidon manages to complete the push here, but Crescenia actually goes down here. Now, they are taking a lot of damage from the circle. This is phase 6. They are not going to be able to save him. DJ Low opting to move away from the, the area. And uh, all we do see here, Team Retired is moving very much towards MSK Poseidon. Um, they might be trying to catch them in a bad spot here as they look to take play on the edge of the circle here. Now it looks as though Gang FTY putting some fire up on Frostfire. Elliot coming just over the hill there and immediately gets uh, knocked down by Dankirk. So Dankirk uh, coming up with the uh, first knock for, for them. Demon Eater is outside the zone here. He is staying very much by the cover here. He's going to see whether or not he can opt for uh, moving a little bit more after this. A little bit more of a distraction. Now it looks as though that Team Retired is trying to clean up here, but it looks as though Voidless as well uh, uh, Voidless as well as DJ Lol have already made their way onto the hill here. Now, uh, Retired also taking losses here as Kimberly uh, is has gone down already here. And 
and Vine also being knocked as well. Voidless trying to flank around the other side here as he tries to get some vision here. Brax is a little bit over the hill here, but he gets distracted by Ryan and he's not able to spot uh, Brax just yet here, but he still manages to get him down here. He's taking a lot of hits, third party hits from uh, squad number 8 MBT. Now, it doesn't look good here. He's trying to bug out here as best that he can here, but there's going to be difficulty getting in as MBT looks to force the issue here, and Asmix puts the final touches on Team Retired. Team Retired goes out in 8th position here. Uh, Voidless is still up here for uh, MSK Poseidon, but he is only one man strong here. Now, it looks as though Gang FTY starting to make their moves here as they advance on the two players for the few players that are up for Team Crayon here. Now, they are trying to shoot up. They knocked down M0 here, but it looks like that is it. M Allen's able to put the finishing touches here. Now, FFG are alerted to the presence of Gang FTY, and uh, we're going to have to see uh, if they are going to actually go up the hill. They might just act as gatekeepers, prevent them from getting inside the circle. MBT uh, still trying to look for Voidless. Voidless are currently, currently oh, in a good position here, uh, or at least stealthy enough that he's not facing too many issues from MBT. Now... Uh, it looks as though MPT will just stay here. They are inside the circle. They do have prime position here. Now the rest of the members from uh, 6 Gaming here might decide to move in pretty soon here. Now it looks as though Gang FTY is starting to press the issue here as FFG decides to partially bug out of here. Now they do have three players still up here and uh, it looks as though that oh, FFG is in a bit of trouble. We'll sit Chris facing a lot of problems here. His vehicle is under an uh, intense amount of fire. He's already started smoking here. Now, the other squad members here from um, FFG are able to spot Allens as he comes over the hill here, leaving Dankirk and M0 as the last remaining players for Gang FTY, but Chris actually taking up shop here. He is trying to put some fire back, but he gets knocked down by Andy BG. So six uh, gaming here. Uh, still looking pretty strong here as they do have four players still up alive here. Voidless is starting to move in as uh, we do see that the fine this uh, phase seven of the circle is moving in here. Dankirk getting uh, knocked out and eliminated, leaving only M0 still alive on the hill. Now, six gaming, still four players up here and uh, they are very close to MBT here. So it's whether or not MBT can force them to stay outside, but they, they are marginally inside, but the next circle could be more detrimental. We still have two more circles to go after this and only 40 seconds before this one actually finished. So M0 opting to even go inside the, the blue zone to try and get around here, but he's taking a lot of fire from FFG. He has no helmet left here, but he is able to spot the rest of them is whether or not he has a nade here and able to do something more. Uh, they are lying prone at the moment and that is it for Gang FTY. They go out here after getting eliminated by FFG here. Now it looks as so though Voidless is participating as and he manages to knock out uh, Rexen as well. K by uh, able to f uh, put some more fire and Asmix puts the finishing touch here. So it looks as though that we do have uh, three teams left remaining here in that um, seventh zone. Uh, we're going to move to the eighth one now. So they have four people up alive with a monstrous 11 kills to their name here. So looking pretty good for them. Now, the MBT is down to two players uh, after they were occupying the circle at four men strong for quite some time here. Now, uh, it looks as though Asmix able to get a nice headshot with a mini 14 on Hunter's crew here. And, uh, Hopefully he can level up the playing field. The two players from FFG are still up here, but they are waiting for this fight to transpire. They can hear the, the shooting going around, but 6 Gaming does have to actually move closer into the circle here. k -Bytes just trying to get some more vision here, and he spots one of them actually moving, but he actually goes through the, the smoke here. Asmix under more fire here. Now FFG is starting to make their move here inside this, this zone here. Uh, 6 Gaming starts to move here. They start trading Nox here as Asmix goes down. Only K-Bytes is up for MBT. We do have uh, three players still up for six gaming here. Uh, I'm Coldblood is being res by A6 here, but FFG is starting to press the issue here as K-Bytes is coming over the top. He actually knocks down K and uh, he's going to get eliminated, leaving only Yong Glee up for um, FFG. But there are four players up uh, now for uh, six gaming here as they look to finish off K bytes here. Now, Yong Glee is just staying as quiet as possible on the edge here, but K bytes manages to knock down Andy BG, but unfortunately he goes uh, down himself. So there's 13 kills already to um, Six Gaming's name. Now, can they make it 14 and seal this chicken dinner here? So, Yong Glee is all by his lonesome hiding behind the car. And technically, he is a. Uh, He's a bit in a precarious position, so to put it 
in a very formal manner. So uh, yeah, he is trying to look as best he can, but the best that he can hope for is try and knock them out one by one. But he is facing off against the four players of six here, and he is asking for them to come in there. So he goes out with a bang, quite literally, and we do see six gaming taking home the first chicken dinner of tonight's Battle Arena Scrim Games. So they turn in 14 kills, so an excellent performance from them as they did manage to keep four alive well late into the game here. So. In second place, we have FFG as they managed to prevent a lot of or had to fight off a lot of teams at the same time here as that did prove to be um, very difficult for them. Now, uh, in third place, we have MBT as we did see that K Bytes was the last player left up, but unfortunately, he did have to fight against the whole of uh, Six Gaming here, so he goes down. MSK Poseidon did manage to sneak into fourth position even though that they got into a big fight with Team Retired. Uh, Voidless was able to sneak in and he did still manage to get one of the kills on the MBT guys as they started losing players here and there and weren't able to face off against uh, X Gaming later in that game. And then in fifth place we have Gank FTY so they managed to secure fifth place. They had that nice spot where it had a lot of natural cover but they started facing a lot of problems as they started to come over the hill and fighting with FFG. Now. That is it for round number one, guys. You're watching Play the J. We'll be back soon for the next uh, game. It will be FPP mode on uh, Miramar. So uh, please do stay tuned, and we will be right back.